<laughs> I'm afraid we're down to our final four days. How sad. How droll. <laughs> Oh, but I'm afraid all good things must come to an end. But they're not ending tonight. At least not for me. But I do think that I could offer you a piece of advice, friend, as you're watching this, as you're hearing this. I live on the top floor of a five-story apartment building in a moderately big city. My apartment has one bedroom and a fairly large living room with big windows out towards the street in the opposing building. That building has a small parking lot up front, so it's not directly across from mine, which I kind of like because of the privacy. Being a night owl, I like to sit up late with my laptop. Sometimes I peek out the window at the building across, looking for lit windows and wondering if anyone else out there is doing the graveyard shift. Last night, though, I wish I hadn't. I usually sit with my laptop facing the windows. For the last couple of nights, I had, in the corner of my eye, been seeing a sparsely lit window in the building across, and in it, I saw some sort of movement. Last night, my curiosity got the best of me, so I put my computer down and went over to the window to check it out. Surely enough, I could see someone waving, but just barely. The window was dimly lit, but you could definitely see some movement. I thought about it for a second and went to get a pair of binoculars. After some searching, I found a pair and went back to the window, putting them to my eyes. I located the window and got a better look at what was in it. It appeared to be a person, lit up by a candle. I couldn't make out the person's face, but he was waving. At me, apparently because after I had locked onto him with the binoculars, he stopped waving for a second and then pointed at me. I felt a chill go down my spine. This was fucking creepy. He pointed at me and then he made a circling motion with his finger. He kept doing this over and over until I realized he was signaling for me to turn around. I reacted out of instinct and quickly turned around as if I really were expecting something to be lurking behind me. Nothing was there but darkness, obviously, so I chuckled to myself and turned back to the window with my binoculars only to find it empty, except for the candle, slowly fading out. I jumped back and dropped the binoculars on the floor, the noise of the impact spooking me even further. What the fuck? I thought to myself as I went back to my computer. I put on some music to calm me down, and surfed around a bit more until I looked at the time and realized that it was about to get light out. I put my computer down and made my way through a small hallway that led to my bathroom. I didn't have any lights on, but as I approached, I noticed a flickering underneath the door. My body froze. Even if I did forget to turn off the bathroom light, a light bulb would not produce that kind of lighting. I slowly walked up to the door, took a deep breath, and lightly pushed the door open. I stepped inside and, to my horror, I found a candle sitting in the sink, revealing a message hastily scribbled on the mirror. Never. Turn around.